in this video i'm going to tell you about what happens when you have saturn in the fourth house in the navamsha chart if you want to take personal consultation check the description box or the comment section so let's get started so saturn in the fourth house fourth house is a very important house in the navamsha chart as it tells you about your peace of mind your house your home um your emotional stability your property after marriage or in the second half of life how it's going to be how your peace of mind your mentality your happiness is going to be in the second half of life because navamsha chart shows about marriage and the second half of life and also your karmas so fourth house of navamsha chart also helps you to understand your karmas okay so now you are putting saturn here which is the planet of foundation stability discipline structure and it is a very cold planet and it represents restrictions represents karma discipline and karmic debt so basically saturn rules the 10th house and now saturn is sitting in the opposite house of fourth fourth house which is the house of emotions right you know saturn has not experienced emotions in life saturn has not got the love so it's possible that you may have faced that situation that no one loves me or uh, the kind of love i deserve the kind of love i give to people i don't get it back right saturn here basically shows that after marriage or in the second half of life your karma is towards house towards home and your responsibility towards home will increase you will have to do your responsibilities your duties at home okay even after marriage your responsibilities at home will increase your duty towards your family members towards your children towards your mother the responsibility will increase saturn here also shows that somewhere you can feel lonely and isolated at home or you you are not able to express emotions or you can feel a lack of uh, lack of love okay it's not like people don't love you it's not like your spouse doesn't love you because saturn is in the fourth house of emotions you can feel all of that but now it depends upon sign also if saturn is in the friendly sign this thing will not be so prominent so duties and responsibilities at home will increase and feeling of loneliness or isolation even when you are with your family members can be there or your soul will search for something that my soul is looking for something looking for happiness or like something that satisfies you so it is like uh, a soul's des soul's desire the soul's purpose that you may look for right um so this is the thing so basically saturn in the fourth house has come to teach you to control your emotions and self love and self dependency you will only feel happy in your life when you start loving yourself because saturn in the fourth house somewhere shows lack of emotional love or lack of trying to make yourself happy if it is retrograde in your chart it shows that in the past life you left your responsibilities and duties towards your home towards your spouse that's why you have got saturn here and it also shows that in the past life you were always dependent upon others for emotional love and it affected your mental physical well-being as well as your career so you in this life you have come back again with saturn in the fourth house to clear all those karmas okay you will become emotionally matured and slowly slowly you will become practical slowly slowly you will start controlling your emotions very much you will control your emotions no matter in whichever sign it is but slowly slowly your emotions will be controlled because of the saturn's lessons you will control yourself emotionally and you will fulfill your duties and responsibilities because those are pending uh, somewhere uh, you will not be able to express emotions properly with your uh, family members no matter whoever stays with you uh, at your home after marriage or in the second half of life emotional distance distance 
uh, would be uh, felt with them right so this is possible that no matter how much uh, you all will love each other but still that emotional distance may be felt with them simplicity you will love you will want to stay simple and uh, no matter how much rich you become how much money wealth you have but you will see that your house where you live is very simple simplicity is there like no show off it's simple it's comfortable and simple you will prefer simple and spiritual life not a life of show off not where you have to show people what you have so simplicity you will prefer okay over luxuries you will prefer simplicity and comfort okay you will understand real meaning of love after marriage or in the second half of life saturn from here aspects of 10th house so saturn here just tells you that control your emotions and focus on your career or towards your duties and responsibilities many they don't have the career they have some other karma so you need to focus on your duties and responsibilities by controlling your emotions distant relationship with mother can be seen here after marriage or in the second half of life no matter how much love was there but some kind of distance will come like lack of meeting or lack of emotional connection with mother this does not mean there will be no love but sometimes you know uh, we feel distance we start feeling that distance from the the person we love okay and it happens uh sometimes it definitely happens because we are living far or because of something this happens okay saturn here can also give you a house for sure and uh, in career wise you can go into law you can become a judge or business for business this is very good for political career also this is a very good placement for politics as well and also any career you will choose you will find it very stable at first saturn may create issues but once you get the right direction you will see that your career growth is very stable you have got a particular career and you are doing it you can also work from home because originally saturn rules your 10th house and it goes in the 4th so work from home is quite possible saturn aspects your 6th house with third aspect here you will always try to sort out your problems you will not like problems you will not like diseases debts all these things you will not like so you will try to always sort it out you will try not to indulge in any kind of problems because problems obstacles will always make you stressed enemies will make you stressed diseases will make you stressed debts will make you stressed the only thing that you can do is you should try to stay away from the sixth house matters as much as possible so that you can you should not create new obstacles debts in your life but for making your home or for doing any business or any work you may have to take some debt or loan you will also try to sort out your past issues like after marriage or in the second half of life you will try to sort out all your past pending issues problems and all the uh, you will try to uh, like clear your karmic debts with your enemies or anyone and you will become very much focused upon your health and your daily life you will you will uh, make a proper health routine daily routine uh, saturn here wants to teach you to live your life according to routine do the things on time wake up early do your work on time do your duties on time it's like a strict teacher is now sitting in your home you always meet teacher at school but now the teacher is coming in your home now okay you cannot do anything you have to listen to teacher you have to follow the strict routine you have to follow the diet for your health you need to become 
a good person a routine oriented person who does everything on time so this is why saturn is here in the fourth house to teach you discipline in life you you may have been very lazy in your past life or in the first half of life now you cannot be lazy because saturn will load you with responsibilities if you be lazy saturn will give you negative effect if you be lazy and you don't do the things on time so this is what saturn aspect is teaching you in saturn aspects of first house your karma is towards yourself self grooming self love doing the things on time doing your duties properly controlling your emotions and not acting childish becoming emotionally matured uh, focusing on your health so now your karma is towards this because in the past you were not doing your duties properly especially if it's retrograde and especially if it's retrograde it will create lots of problems if you don't do the things because it's possible you don't have that habit to uh, deal with so much responsibilities but saturn can load you with responsibilities and then you will have to fulfill those things right so this is the thing saturn is here to teach you to do your responsibilities your duties and focus on your diet your healthy routine everything okay so yeah and one thing you should do uh, don't prefer luxury okay prefer comfort over luxury because if you go for luxury uh, that i should do this that no okay simplicity something that satisfies your soul always choose the things at your home like decor or anything um or construction which satisfies your soul not which satisfies your mind okay or your or your uh, luxury's desire okay keep this thing in mind your karma is towards yourself saturn aspects the first house so keep in mind this thing that your karma is towards your self love self growth and saturn here comes to teach you that no one can love you more than yourself detach yourself from people focus on self and then see how the magic works in your life you don't need love from others you can love yourself and when you love yourself you see people will start loving you and trust me it works when we love ourselves then people will love us there was a time when no one actually uh like wanted to be my friend when i was like looking for approval from people to love me actually or to accept me but when i don't look when i don't want uh people to love me or become my friend or to accept me uh then i actually get people who want to be my friend who want to accept me so this thing happens so th- this is what saturn is here to teach you self love and when you do it you will see how people around you will start loving you wanting you right so this thing saturn does now saturn here does not say that because of your duties responsibilities you stop focusing on yourself no saturn here wants to teach you balance okay so controlling your emotions is what will happen after marriage or in the second half of life this is your karma and also focus on your diet your daily routine and stay away from the problems obstacles as much as you can and try to focus on emotional health so thank you so much may god bless you bye